Santa. Yeah. <sighs> Part two. Here is the. I'm sorry, y'all. These are just um. I'm trying to get adjusted to these um this new smile. So y'all bear with me. Um, if you are new to the channel, thank you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday, y'all. I'm sorry if I'm um kind of whispering. It, I am at my night job and I don't want to wake my client. But at the same time, I want to show you guys my new smile. All right, so right now, these are the temporaries. If y'all hear me stopping and pausing, it's because I'm suctioning in all of my saliva and all of that. So it's taking some getting used to, uh, but for the most part, my gums are still swollen. But after the gums heal, then my teeth will fit better. I will probably talk better. But your girl is on fleek and she happy. And by the way, some people think I've had lip injections. No, dumb dumb. I got a full set of teeth. That's it. <laughs> and if you're my sub puppy, one of my sub puppies, and you've been following me, thank you so much for following my journey, for um, rocking with me from the beginning. And um, it's not about um, having a new smile, y'all, because the smile comes from on the inside. But you guys were with me through the process, through the journey, and you're still uh, rocking with me. It's still a journey. It's still a process. But at the moment right now, your girl is happy. She ain't got to cover her mouth. She ain't got to look down. And she don't have to feel bad about herself, which I didn't feel bad about myself in the first place. But if you're thinking about getting dentures, or if you're thinking about getting a new smile, or if you're thinking about getting uh, implants, y'all, it's the best thing that you can do. Don't be scared. Although my anxiety pretty much got the best of me when they started uh, putting the injections up here. And I won't kid you, the injections are also at the roof of your mouth, which feels like hell. But for the most part, just kind of take a deep breath, which I did, and um, kind of pace around. I don't know why I'm bending over. Kind of pace around, pace yourself, and uh, kind of take slow breaths. If you feel like the anxiety is overtaking you, um, what I did was I asked him to turn on the television because when your um, your dentist, when he uh, gets the injections in, you know, the office was busy. And so once he put the injections in, he walks away for like a half an hour. And that's the anxiety sets in even more. And so um, I had to talk to myself because it felt like my airways was closing in on me and I used to be a dental assistant so I pretty much know how things work and how the anxiety goes and how to calm down the patient and all of that but you know it's easy to it than doing um it felt like they were breaking my teeth breaking my brain but um uh, there's some things that needed to be, to be done and I'm so happy that I got it did and so right now like I said these are the temporaries three or four months of wearing these here they will have my permanent teeth in and once that heals the gums and everything heals and I learned how to eat again it's like a baby and then I would turn around and then get the two partials for the bottom some people want to know how and why um did I end up with the broken teeth and um what was what was it like for me what some people you see them they don't have their smile you want to know the story behind what happened to your smile Mine was, one, I had low iron. I found out I, was, I had high blood pressure and I was a diabetic. And over the years, I constantly ate ice. I would kill somebody over my ice. I ate ice 24-7. And when you eat hard ice like that, it breaks off your teeth. It kills the enamel and it's just, it broke off. So I, uh, on Monday, I had about 13 teeth uh, extracted. Even though there were just five in the front, but from the years of just picking with my teeth and then the rest of them break off, there was a total of 13, 13, 12 or 13 teeth that was extracted. Now, 
If you're having problems with anxiety or if you think you're going to um, panic or whatever, uh, just try to do like I did. Take deep breaths. Talk to yourself. Sing. Ask them for a remote control to turn on the TV the way you can kind of keep your mind regulated. Uh, let me see what else. Um, you'll be glad that you did it. Trust me when I tell you. If you didn't have, if you had low self-esteem or if you felt bad about yourself or you found yourself covering your, your smile, whenever you get your mouth done, y'all, I promise you, you will not regret it. It will boost your, why am I constantly bending down? My back is killing me. Anyway, I don't want to wake my client, so I, I want the lighting to be a little bit better, so I came into the bathroom. But anyway, um, excuse me, it's a process, and uh, I haven't learned how to eat with them yet. I'm going to be honest with you. It's just really um, trying to get used to. It's like If you're a woman, it's kind of like fitting a new bra, trying to get uh, a new bra fitted. And you're going to keep trying it until you get the right one, the right one that fits you right. Or it's like getting new tires for your car. You know, the tires ride like a Cadillac and these teeth look like a Cadillac, okay? So anyway, um, if you, you'll probably hear me talking a little bit like, you know, something is in my mouth, which it is, saliva. And then um, I'm a gagger. So another thing you might want to be careful with is that you are a, uh, if you are a gagger, you don't you can't stand for things to be in the far back of your mouth like me. When you get your moles done, with the, what they call impressions, you know, um, I had anxiety with that as well. Um, they had to calm me down. And um, it's just, you know, if you deal with anxiety, you know what the issue is. And so one tip is, when you, have an, when you have an anxiety attack, when you get your impressions done, if you just don't like anything in your mouth, just breathe from your nose. When they put the tray in, open your hands like this. Bald, bald your fingers into your hands like this and just kind of press your thumbs. I don't know if it works or not, y'all, but it kept me a little bit calm. It kept my mind off of what they were doing. And so my thing is this here. Don't be scared. Don't be fearful. Um... It only takes a few minutes to get the molds done, and then you're out of there. And then they'll set up you an appointment to when you have to come back, and uh, they extract your teeth. Yes, I have to tell you, uh, it's not a pretty process when they're taking teeth out, especially your canines. Your canines are like dog teeth. My dentist had such a hard time getting that canine out of me. I thought he was going to jump over me, sit on top of me, and get it out. Because he was shaking my head back and forth. And I was like, your first initial reaction is to grab the dentist hand because, you know, he's, he's in your comfort zone. So you got the dental assistant who's telling you, no, don't do that. But on the other hand, you got the dentist saying, I don't need no help. But then on your mind, you're saying, Negro, you need some help. You know, you don't know what you're doing. But anyway, um, just take deep breaths, y'all. But get it done. If you have good dental insurance, get your teeth done. You'll be glad that you did. This is your life. This is your journey. Don't let anybody talk you out of your happiness or your transitioning into your happiness or into the next level of your life. It doesn't matter what you what you uh, get done, long as you are the one who's happy, not anybody else. This is your story. This is your chapter. This is your journey. Not anybody else's. Okay. So if you got any questions, please leave them down for me in the comments. Comment, subscribe, um, uh, thumbs it up for me. Um, come on over, be a sub puppy. I forgot to say happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I don't know why I'm bending down. Maybe because I don't want to wake my client up, but my back show is hurting. But I'm going to enjoy the process. And I want to thank you all once again for rocking with me, for staying with me. And just watch what God is going to be doing. He's doing great things this year. I'm also transitioning next month to a new location. Uh, at, say about the 1st of June in a new location where there's more lighting. So if you guys would continue to follow my journey, I would really, really appreciate it. All right? Peace. Love you all. If you got any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you, okay? All right.